Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? Welcome to Clones. Now I did just very briefly touch on this game in my little look to um, the, the three cheap games that I did on Monday. I'm going to be doing that on a regular basis, three cheap games, just take a quick look at them. But this one I really, really enjoyed, so I'm going to do a single episode going through it. I just found that you can actually edit your avatar and I don't know if this is like the guy that you use all the way through uh, I really hope that it is the guy that you use all the way through because this is brilliant we are going to get some crazy stuff going on here um, yeah we, we could do with that we'll, we'll sort of twist that over actually I think it needs to go over that way it needs to go that way so it's got to be the opposite to the eyes uh, and then we go in here so we've got sort of a square look going on uh, we want him smaller we definitely want him smaller and we'll bring <laughs> okay that's a bit too much <laughs> we'll bring him up a little bit. So he's got he's got to match the eyes a little bit, I guess. Um, no, if I if I actually if I twist him over, is it going to work a bit better? No, it looks like his eye has gone a bit too much. We'll, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, let's go with no hair. No, we we've got to have some hair. Let's bring that one and that one again. That's gonna. I want to twist that one over there, and I want big hair. Let's go for some big hair, and we can come in here. So we got our eyes. I actually want to bring those down a little bit, I think, just to fit in. A bit more like that. There we go. That, that'll do quite nicely, I think. And then the mouth. What are we going to do? Are we going to be happy, sort of chappy? That's it. That is perfect. That is definitely perfect. Uh, yeah, it looks better if it's kind of straight like this. It is cutting into the eye a little bit. Uh, that's <laughs> let's get it underneath the eye and just right there we go there is our that's our little dude that is our little dude what colors have we got what color has we got we got blue and green it's not it's not oh I see you change your colors before you get onto it right uh what about red <laughs> beautiful look at that lippy that we got on that is fantastic we got a, we got a beautiful bit of lippy going on there and we come in here and we go for a purple one on this. It's got to, it's got to be. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. And what are we going to have for the hair? We, we've got to have orange hair. i got orange hair. So it's got to be orange hair. We will stick with that one. Yes. There is our little dude. That is our little dude right there. That is just fantastic. And fire. Yeah, we've, we, we, we've got to have fire. Yeah. What, what what have you been doing with yourself? What have you done with your life? You need to take a long, hard look at yourself, sir. You really need to take a long, hard look at yourself. That is brilliant. Right, well, the first one is Clone Morphing Lessons 1 from Robobrain. So let's just see what this is and see what it shows us. New Clone Master in Training. My function is to copy my daily pace of Clone Morphs into a neural net. Blorp. Now receive and assimilate the Puff Morp Beep. Uh, right. About the puff mort beam out one clone to satisfy a requirement. Uh, so what does this guy do? So what you got to you, you select the clone. Now if anybody didn't see this previously, so what you do is you select the clone. You can't really do a lot else. It's very similar to Lemmings, the old Lemming game. Uh, you got walk, which doesn't do anything, and then you got the puff one. Oh, he's, he's falling. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to splat if we do that. But if I puff him up. He slows down. I gotta puff up each one as they drop down, so that they keep going. It's a little bit unfortunate, but if I just keep doing that, then they fall down like that. And go for you. I don't think I actually need to worry about that guy. Oh no, he's he's puffed anyway. Right. Well, how do I stop it? There's goo there. Oh, I've I've missed one. No, he's he's gone all the way down through. Let's take that guy there, puff him up, down he goes, and they're going through, so they'll walk down through, so how do I get them to go, I think they've got, they're supposed to jump over that, oh no, 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 there's, there's, there's bits there, and then we've got the, um, which was the speed up, you got decorations, uh, quantum time, what's quantum time, let's turn that one off, there was a, there was a one to speed it up, found all the Q dots in three puzzles, Okay. Some of your stats tied the world record. Okay. This time we have the spin morph, which sends them airborne. And so if I do that and then I press S, they start flying. But that's not going to do any good to me. Actually, I want him to walk again. 
Huh. Right, well that didn't work very well. So let's try pressing S again and see what they do. And I'll press S on that guy. I don't know which way we want them to spin. I'm not really sure. Uh, he's hitting the roof over there. So I actually want them to spin when they come back round. Ooh. Oh, they, they, they've done it. They're just using that one. That's brilliant. Okay, so now what do I do? I got, I got to I got to bring them up so that they. I can bring that one up through there. What's he gonna do? I want that guy as well, and I'll spin him. He can go up that way and spin. So I'm gonna send a whole load of these guys spinning up this way because I don't really know what I'm doing. And there's our little guy there, the mascot dude. That is brilliant. Okay, so they're not all working, but what I... Th oh, once you get one of them up there, is it? It then shoots the rest of them up and you don't have to worry about it. So you've only got to get the first one up there and not worry about any of the others. Now, this next bit could be a little bit more tricky. So I'll get that one there, and as soon as he turns, I'll start him flying. And then that one... That's going to push him on round. That might actually work better. Start up like that. No, 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 no. So we wanna, we'll want to we actually have to spin you out a little bit further. Like that. And now he's going up through. But how you get them up there, I really don't... Oh, I know how you do it. We have to bring it from here. I have to bring him in. And then start flying him up like that. And that's not worked. Go up a little bit higher. I've, I've, it's got to be when they're going that way. So that they go round and they get caught in... There we go. He's got caught inside. And then he'll go and he'll get everything. That's not good. I, at least I managed to get all the little bits, but I, I don't know how to get this one going. Start you going up over there. You might have to touch one of these. Good jobs. You can click the off circular morph menu by clicking on menu options and deselecting that option. Uh, I've no idea what that actually means. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Uh, but yeah, we've got our clone. All right, we've got to press A in order to move these around. I'm not sure what we're... Uh... At the moment, I've killed everybody. I think I, I was busy looking at some controls to sort of try and figure out the best way to play this, and it's, it's, it's not worked very well. Um, what are you doing? Oh! Atomize them like that, and then the guys walk over the... <laughs> That's brilliant! you got to get them to brutally slaughter themselves so that the next ones that come through will actually... <laughs> That's brilliant! And we bring him over there, and then we do that so that he goes over the top of it, so that they're not going to go down through and drill down to the bottom. And it was this this control that I was looking for to sort of see how they move on to the next bit. So what's he doing? I want to get that guy and atomize him there. Oh, boom. Right, well, that's no good. I'm going to have to atomize a whole load of them over the top now. So if I take that guy, atomize, and then that guy... And do the same. Take you. <laughs> How many just build a bridge out of their mutilated corpses? <laughs> this is brilliant. I never thought that I would ever actually say that in gaming. In order to get further on this particular level, I need to build a bridge of mutilated corpses. And that guy there needs to just be a mutilated corpse. And you will... And you will. And you will as well. So we just got to see what this one here is going to do. Because everybody else is a mutilated corpse. So it's literally down to him. Just this one. There is 11 of those things on this level. Oh, they're all down here. You actually need to get down and get one of them in there to be able to do it. Is he going to even be able to do this? No. I have to restart this one. Well, I know what I'm doing a bit more now. At least I know how these work. So I can very quickly... I hope, fast forward and get to the point where we need to be. Uh, made him, I actually used more than I should have done on that little bit, uh, which is a little bit of a shame. And now we've got to see if we can get this one here to work. I need one to go with him down into his little hole. I need the next one to be blown up. There. I'll do it like that. And then i got to start building a pile of them on here. So that we can get them all. I'm going to send... Actually, no. In order to get them up there, I've actually got to um, blow up a whole load more of them. Which I don't really want to do. Bring that one all the way up. And we got it at last. This time we have exploding clones. We press B and it blows them up. 
Giving the Nova Morph will cause a clone to explode, taking out any nearby land with it. Uh, I need to get down there. So I need to get down through here. So we, we've got some clones here. I guess I need to just get some of these. I need to blow them up. So I've got to blow one of these up. Kablamo. Off goes the next one. But I'm not really sure what's going to happen now. So he, he, well, he'll be taken in there and he'll drop down there. Is he going to, oh, I see. He goes into the cloning machine and he gets cloned. So I can blow him up. I mean, I suppose if I wanted to do this properly and get all of the extra bits, then I would wait a little bit longer before I blow them up. But I don't really care about that. I just want to get them down there so that we can get this level finished as quickly as we possibly can. So we get that one there. They'll drop down onto here. And he'll go all the way up there. I don't know what he's going to do next, though. I'm going to press that button. What's going to happen there? Oh. I see. Right. See how many clones are under your mouse cursor? Oh, I see. Right. Uh, and we go through there. Right. I need to get... Um. How do I get through there? If I... Do I need to maybe blow up a clone? Let's try blowing one up there. Yes, that's what I need to do. And then up through, and we've got our clone. Very, very easy. This is the one that I used to use an awful lot in clones. Uh, you just literally, you have a couple of clones, and you have one standing there, and he will stop them from moving. So it's, it's the orange ones that we've got to do anything with. Convert a clone into an unmovable obstacle. In this state, the clone can only receive the Nova or Atomize Morph command. Now, the thing is, we don't have the other commands at the moment, so we just want to bring... Beware of black holes. Redirect the clones to a safer spot. So he goes there, and then I press V to turn him into something that's going to stop them from moving. And then that one will run back over. That bridge can only hold one clone at a time. And then bye-bye bridge. So then that clone will go over there. I've got one that's going down underneath. It's actually all right. They're falling down. Uh, but that guy, he needs to stop so that they don't go into the, the black hole. Um, eventually, I'm hoping that a clone will come through there. I could actually just stop that guy. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, what I could do is I could stop that guy there so that I only have one clone on the bridge. I don't know if this is going to work. Is it going to work? Yes, it's worked. So he's gone on to there and he's gotten that one. And I've already got this. The red number on the beam out pad tells you how many clones I still need to get. That'll be the rest of them coming up. So he got that one. I didn't get that one or the one down there. I don't really mind about those. I just want to see if it could be done. And there we go. All the way through. Boom, 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 boom. And we're done. Tells you how many clones you still need to beam up. A green number is surplus. So we got three surplus on there. Uh... That's all of my clones, isn't it? I've got 11 of 8, 7 of 9 of those. So I, I've finished, haven't I? It says I'm done. Ah, I see. I've, I've had to do it a couple of times. I couldn't really figure out what was going on. You've only got these doppled clones left, I think they're called. Um, but yeah, what you do is if I press Z, it should send them supernova and get rid of them. Are you sure you want a supernova? Yes, I am. And kaboom. That gets rid of everything else that is left on the map. And then it's kaboom and end of. So we did finally do it. Use the lop morph and try and hit the switch with the clone's head. Don't worry, it will regrow. <laughs> It'll regrow? Uh, I see. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Right. Uh, so we want to press C to um, launch that one. Throw it up like that. And there. So I've hit the switch. And now what? Let's just fasten him up. Just move him on a little bit. He's gone under there. And down into that one. Ah, right. So now that will lower it back down. When the bar is empty, the clone will atomize. The bar above a selected clone displays how much... Lop ahead at the switch to release the enemy. There we go. Right, so that's released those. I've got to get those, I think. I think the idea is that I need to actually kill those with my little guy here. They're throwing at me. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're obliterated by the red clothes. That's brilliant. Okay, this is actually very cool. I've never had anything like that in Lemmings before. 
And I played Lemming. I used to play Lemmings quite a bit. Um, there was a time I played that an awful lot, that game. And it is a lot of fun. So let's just let this guy run through and pick up these little things here a minute. And then if we switch him around. So we've got to remember to use the floaty thing. Lop ahead at the switch to release. The last clone lopping will be victorious. Right, because I've got that there, which is a, a float thing. I don't know why I would need that. I've got to get these clones here. So I'm just going to keep lobbing heads like this. Just, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Okay, I'm going to have to get through them now like this. No, 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 no. Get him. Excellent. <laughs> that was what I didn't do last time, was I, I didn't manage to actually get him. Go on a little bit further and lob. Got him. And again. And get that guy as well. Let's get them both. I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Sometimes your best is not good enough. I got him. I don't know how that happened, but I got him. I actually got him. That's really cool. You actually get to fight other clones. That is so awesome. Combinational morph instruction phase. Sensors detect unknown clone type in level. Proceed with caution. Uh, right, so we've got the floaty one, we've got the flying one, and the self-exploding one. Um, while airborne, a clone can go Nova to clear up... I see, right, so we do that there. Uh, you first got to select a clone, yeah, that, that would make sense. So we can do that on there, and then while that one's going up, we can then press B, and we can exploder it. Boom! like that and then the next one that comes through is actually going to have to be that one we can then fly that one up and it should just be able to go straight up through it's going to work yes it got all the way up and that's going to bring a, a little shooty thing to bring them up to the next point so then we've got a we've got another flight thing and we've got the, the float one right the score bar at the top of the screen shows how many clones you've beamed up the minimum you need to pass and the maximum you can beam. So, zero of five. They're turning round here at the moment, so we need to get another clone going in the right direction up there. Oh, actually, no, I need him going back the other way, don't I? He's got to go that way. Up there, like that. There we go. So I don't actually need anything blown up just at the moment. And we go over this way. It's they, They've got to go up there. I can, like, spend... I'm not going to worry about getting those. I'm going to get that one there, and I'm going to get him to go up. And... Go boom. And then I'm going to get the next one here. And that one's going to go up as well. There we go. And you press the button, and they all come up that way. And then... Will you... How do you... Oh, there. Press the X. It's getting really annoyed with that thing. It's just stuck there all the time. Uh, so then we go on to that point there and start him flying and up he goes. Right, what's this? You just triggered an auto checkpoint which you can... Oh, auto checkpoints. Very snazzy. Right, we got something up there. I don't know what he's for. But I want this guy over here and he's got to get all the way up there. So we've actually got to get him turned around. And then we want to get him... Oh, nope, I didn't actually mean to do that. Let him come over, and then we can turn him and then press S like that, and up he goes. Now, i got to be careful with this. i got to make sure that i got F ready to use in case he needs it. Oh, he's all right. And he's got that one. And then I've turned him into the floaty one so that he can come back down again. i got to get in there. Oh, I know what i got to do. I'm going to have to blast my way down through. Right, what's this? Dark Clone is a rare mutation endowed with special properties, like being able to destroy Clonium when they go Nova. Nova, a normal clone next to the Doppel Clone in order to shatter him. Right, I see. So i got to do that, which means that what I want to do here is I need to blast my way through there and drop down into there. And I very ne very quickly need to blast another one as well. So let's bring that one right over there. Boom. And him... Blast. Boom. Right. That's that's not done it. I got those out, but I haven't got this guy. This guy is still he's still here. How do I explode him? I need I need to get him to explode. 
This isn't good. Uh, no, he's walked on past. How do I get his health? That's, a, that's the dark clone there, isn't it? Oh, I needed to use him to get down through, and now I can't. I've, I've, no, actually, I can, I think. I think I can still do this. Can't I? Let's see what happens when that one goes up. Nope, it's just going to fall to his death. Splat. And it's okay. So if I go up like that, and then I go there. No, let's go walk. Right. Okay, so I know how to do this bit now. I've got to do it when they're all the way out over, and then they will drop down in, and they will be fine. He goes all the way up, and he hits the top. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, that one went the wrong way by a very long way. Is he going to come back? Actually, he is. He's all right. He made it. Let's blow him up. No, see, it doesn't actually work. So it was that dark clone. I needed to select him. I did make a serious mistake there. But we have done all right. We've got some extra on here. They're going up there and they're getting through. So I've just got to get my last few little clones through. And then we are good to move on to the next level. We'll take that one and up through there. And then up through there as well. On you go. And there we go. So we got seven in. We only needed to get five. We did really well on that. We didn't worry about getting anything. I'm not... I don't, at the moment, I don't mind about getting, not getting any of the Q-Dots. I, I really don't care about that at the moment. Um... Endless Closian. That's what it was called. Endless Closian. Right. Initiate battle mode. Protected memory access enabled. The secret underground lab will serve to test your morph comprehension. This is a clone master battle puzzle. Each clone starts with a set amount of energy that you lose over time. You must beam up more energy than me to succeed. Oh dear. Okay, this is actually like... This has got some details in it that clones never had... Uh, lemmings never had. This is actually really, really cool. So i got to be able to get these over. i got flying, i got the stoppers, i got the ones that blow up and lay across a path. Which I suspect I'm going to need for that dude right there. I don't know if I needed that or not, but I'm just assuming that I did. I've got the blow up, and then i got the one that lobs his head off. Uh, it's in my best interest to remind you that you can press U to freeze time. Right. If things get hectic, I can press U to freeze time, and I can have a look around. This is going to be our last episode, uh, last one that we do today. Uh, so I need to basically get the clones down as rapidly as possible. So I've got to stop them from going this way. There's a black hole there, which is dangerous. So I've got to move them. Basically, that front guy there. Uh, I can turn him into one of those, the stopper clones. Like that. And once they go from there, so I've, I've blown one up to stop him there. And then I've come in over there. I've then got to get the switch, which will be the head one. Which I throw like that. Boom. Switch on. Let's just press U a second. Right, so that's opened. That's able to come down there. That's fine. They'll come down. I've got to blow. I've got to blast a hole through these three walls by the look of it. And from there, I've got to get them over this bit. The horizontal bars at the top right of the screen indicate the beamed and potential clone energy for both you and Robo Brain. Okay. Right, that guy's going to come down. He's going to move on. I'm going to have to blow him up to get him past these walls down the bottom here. Is that too far for him to fall? Yeah. Oh dear. i got to float them all down. Right, well there's an easy way to do that. If I put a stopper in there, I can just stop them for a moment and keep them safe. And they're just going to wander back and forth up there. So then I can take this little guy down here. And I can fly... Can I fly him up over that bit there? I'm hoping I can fly him up over, and then he's in the middle here, and I can use him to blow up the two of them. Both walls gone like that. So then this guy can move over a little bit further, and blow that wall. And I've still got to get them down here. This is the next the big problem that I've got. So I need to... The only way to get rid of him is to do that. So then i got to do that... Basically, you just got to keep doing this all the way down so that you get them all. And then this one's going to come over. I think I've just got to fly them all up. I've got plenty of flying ones. They literally, I just bring them over and I press S on each one as it goes up through. And then you. And then you. And you. And then 
and U, F. I've got to float them down as well. Like that. No! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, uh, it's that one. It's that one. It's that... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I lost them all right at the very end. It was just that tiny little bit. I lost the whole lot. I have failed miserably. And there go my other clones. Kablamo. I'm actually trying one more time because I did just find out they do get stuck in there. You do. I did get that bit right to start with. So I need to bring this one over here and atomize him there like that. And then this next guy, I've got to bring him over like that. And I need to stop him there like that. So that they go moving through. And then the next guy, he comes off. And i got to use him. It's that one there. And I shoot with that guy like that and get the switch open and then we're gonna bring them down here and I'm gonna I'm gonna just get them all down through that point there so it is F to float so I need to just do that so I'll get them all down there a minute right they're all down here so the next bit I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that one over and I'm gonna fly him up like that and then as soon as he hits the roof he should drop down in between the two I'm hoping nope Okay, we'll try that again, and I'll bring him over a little bit further. I do actually need to sort of save some of those flying bits. There we go. Right, now he's dropped in there. I can then do that and blow him up. And then this guy over here, put him through there, and then these are all going to fly. Fly them all. Well, those three are going to fly because that front one is actually very important. I'll be using him in just a second. We're going to atomize that guy. Once he falls down here, boom, like that. And then the others should be going through. There we go. Right, so then I've just got to get them through. I've got to make sure that I get more points. Oops. I press the, I, I keep pressing space bar and I don't actually mean to, which is not very useful because it's causing me to drain all my energy faster than the opponent. So I do that like that, and then they should. The Clone Master has conceded defeat. We are through. So then I've got the doppelganger ones left. I've got to press Z in order to supernova them. And we have finished. So we got first with 1,862. That was on easy. I imagine if you do that on difficult, it would actually be genuinely difficult. Um, but that is all I'm going to do for this one today. If you really like it and I get enough views on it, I may come back and I'll do another episode of this another time. Um, this battle thing, this, this thing is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. But there'll be a link in the description below for this game. Currently on offer on Steam for only like 40 pence or something like that, which is about 60 cents in the US. Um, and you know, 55... Uh, cents in Europe um, it's it's not very expensive at the moment it's normally only about one pound fifty anyway so it's a couple of dollars it's really really cheap game definitely worth a look this game is absolutely brilliant I'm glad I got I got this one and I tried it because it's actually um, there this is a one of those genuine hidden gems and this is the reason that I'll be doing that series with three cheap games on a Monday evening and we can look if we can find any other proper hidden gems that are really entertaining. If you enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye and see you later.